talk about how important it is where you are and what the forecast means. But today, from the mountains to the ocean, it was spectacular. To the prairies. <laughs> that's that's, that's where I was going. Here, if I just kind of like, <laughs> Let's work Mount Monadnock into that hey! because this is a great picture from Sky Eye tonight. And uh, that's not... What is that at the top? Is that just that's just <laughs> rock? That, rock. That on one of our monitors, it looks like rocks. snow, but oh. that's just rock. No snow up there. It's right. uh, a bald mountain top, which gives us some great <laughs> views. It's an excellent hike. It's the second most hiked mountain in the world. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Out? Wow. Yeah. What's number one? Uh, Everest. Not <laughs> Everest is the most hiked. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Smoky Mountains. Everest ain't what it used to be. Uh, Mount Fuji in Japan oh. actually is uh, the other one there. That so was my next okay. But that not get a lot of people living nearby. It's not too high, and it offers some great views out there. And today, one of those days, guys. All right, so let's take a look at our sunset tonight at 7:55. Excellent Friday evening. We're all just a little bit giddy because it's been such a nice week out there, and because we have some high clouds moving in, a vibrant sunset forecast here. We've partnered with Sunset Weather. It's an outlet that looks at all the sky conditions, tries to forecast exactly what your quality of sunset or sunrise is going to be. And this evening is looking really nice. And the reason for that, you see that band of high clouds drifting in from the west. Usually that creates a nice cloud mix to put on a vibrant show. So a great Friday evening. Temps are in the 60s and 70s out there. It's just been beautiful. But look at that line of temps from about New York City Right off to the west, Indy at 83, Chicago at 50, Green Bay at 41. This front is going to be set up throughout the weekend, and it will have a very stark contrast. We will be on generally the colder side. So increasing clouds tonight into the 40s we go. And then tomorrow we'll look at rain showers developing during the morning. By mid-morning, should be looking at some of the wet activity moving its way in. And I don't think it's pouring all day, but it's just going to be showery and damp and cloudy. You see the temperatures in the 40s to low 50s. Very cool throughout our Saturday. Day. Might even get a couple downpours toward the south coast and the Cape as we head into tomorrow evening. But that action does settle southward as we head into Sunday morning. And so we'll be clearing out from north to south as the day goes on on Mother's Day. So much improved for the second half of the weekend. I think rain totals, they won't be perfect like this. This is just a computer model, but it gives the right idea. Lower rain amounts, not too much across New Hampshire and Vermont and northern Massachusetts. Your best chance for a more soaking rain is across Connecticut and toward the south coast. So a good opportunity to lay down some fertilizer tonight. And the pollen counts will take a hit, which is good news. There's plenty of it in the air. We know that. It'll be much lower on Saturday and still somewhat manageable as we head into Sunday. So tomorrow, just a damp, chilly day. A breeze out of the east and temps close to 50 degrees. Don't think it's a complete washout, manageable outdoor activity, but just not great. Saturday night, cloudy, damp, fog, low 40s. But Sunday, we have those decreasing clouds from north to south. And so our high temperatures on Sunday get close to 70 in New Hampshire and northern Massachusetts. A little bit of a light onshore breeze keeps it cooler at the coastline. And then as we look toward the south coast of the Cape, the skies will be a little bit grayer here and will stay in the 50s to around 60 degrees. So if you're going to the Lilac Sunday event at Arnold Arboretum, it's a great annual tradition. Looks dry and cool near 62 degrees. Duckling Day Parade on Boston Common, a little closer to the water in the mid to upper 50s. And if you're doing some gardening for this Mother's Day, these are your average final frost dates across the area. Don't really foresee any frost over the next 7 to 10 days. So we look to be in pretty good shape. There will be some upper 30s into New Hampshire and northern Worcester County tonight and tomorrow night. So there's the full seven day. We start warming back up next week on Monday in the 70s, 80s on Tuesday. But it does look like we'll be back and forth on the front Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, cooling us down and bringing some rain chances. Guys, back to you. Good weather to hike Everest. <laughs> <laughs>